What's up guys and welcome back to the video on my channel and welcome to the Harrogate Town 2021 review. <laughs> In this video, I'll be going through every single month of 2021 and giving you the lowdown of what happened within those months, including Harriet Town's FA Trophy win against Concord Rangers of Wembley and also our second season in League Two. So make sure you stay tuned and drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway, let's get into the video. And Harrogate do have the equaliser! So into January we go and the transfer window has just opened and Harrogate Town brought in a number of signings including Simon Power, Josh Andrews, Edward Francis and Josh March into the club. However, January wasn't the best month for Harrogate Town we only picked up two points with one of them being against Salford where we drew 2-2 with Edward Francis getting a last minute equaliser with James Belshaw getting the assist. Into out of time now. Thompson's ball in. It's a big scramble in the box and Harrogate do have the equaliser. Francis with the goal and Harrogate Town double their lead. Now moving into February it was a much better month for Harrogate Town. We picked up four wins this month. It was a very very good month with one of the games including Harrogate Town's 3-1 against Crawley which was ironically Mark Wright's first ever game for Crawley which didn't go so well because he went off at half time with Simon Power absolutely rinsing him. It's a touch though. Here's March with a bit of space to create, and he's found Martin, and there's the first goal. Wonderful link-up play from March and Martin. Misjudging the challenge, and March, who was fouled, brushing him up, dusting himself down, and scoring. And Harrogate Town double their lead. Forward from the back for Harrogate Town. Fizzed in low instead. His power. Skips past one, still going power, and it's deflected into the back of the net. And it's 3-0. The other three wins in February were all ironically 1-0 wins. Harrogate Town beat Carlisle, Mansfield and Grimsby. Into March we go and Harrogate Town kept up that 1-0 trend as we beat Barrow 1-0 at home and then the next game losing 1-0 to Stevenage. After the 1-0 loss against Stevenage, Harrogate Town bounced back straight away and beat Colchester United 3-0. However, the end of March wasn't great as Harrogate Town lost three matches on the bounce. <laughs> Moving into April, and Harrogate Town didn't have the best start and continued their poor form with them uh, not winning their first four games, two of them being draws, but they bounced back straight away with a 2-1 win in the Yorkshire Derby against Bradford. After Town's big win against Bradford, they were brought back down to reality as they'd lost 3-0 to Oldham and then a 1-1 draw to Carlisle. After that 1-1 draw with Carlisle, 
Then came the 30th of April, which I'm not even gonna lie, was probably one of the one of the best games of football I have seen Harriet Town play in a while. It was a nine goal thriller, we won 5-4, it stopped Cambridge from getting promoted, and Brendan Keenan got the first ever League 2 hat trick for Harrogate Town. Into May we go and into our penultimate game of the season and it was a big one. We played at Wembley for the second ever time. We played Concord Rangers in the FA Trophy final and here's what happened. Muldoon able to bring this a long way back to his right. Keen into his left, he went alone and he hit the post. And there's the goal. Scored by the captain, Falkinger, who couldn't miss from that range. It's been a long time coming. Our historic win against Concord Rangers in the FA Trophy final. We then went to the champions of League Two, Cheltenham Town, where we lost 4-1. And that was the final day of the season. Harrogate Town ended up finishing 17th, which was a really, really good start, especially for our first ever season in League Two. And it gave us somewhere to build on going into the next season. Now, in June, and I won't lie, nothing really happened for Harrogate Town in June. It was obviously our off-season, and we were getting ready for pre-season. But there was the Euros, and England did really, really well. We got to the final, where we lost to Italy on penalties. But it was a great summer. Everyone enjoyed it. It got the uh, nation together. Uh, but after that, Harrogate Town got ready for pre-season. And, uh, yeah, they were back in July. Into July we go and Harrogate Town brought in a number of new signings including Mark Oxley, Rory McArdle, Alex Patterson and Luke Armstrong. This really really helped strengthen the side and it was looking good going into the new season. Now before the new season could start Harrogate Town played a number of pre-season friendlies which included Harrogate Town's 2-1 win against Newcastle under 23s and a big win against Darlington with 5-1 away which also included Simon Power's beautiful free kick. Now, right at the start of August, the new League Two season started and Harrogate Town played Rochdale in the first game of the season. Now, after Harrogate Town's late win against Rochdale, they went unbeaten for the rest of August, beating Barrow 2-1, beating Orient 2-0 away, drawing 1-1 to Exeter, and then beating Mansfield 3-1 in the Papa John's Trophy.
Now, there was also one thing that happened right at the end of August. A pretty big player returned to Harrogate. Nice to see some familiar faces and be back in a good place. I presented a good challenge in itself that I've already done a lot here and I suppose I finished on quite a high when I left, so I think the comeback here can be seen as a bit comfortable, but I think it's more of a challenge than anything, just in the fact that I have to replicate what I've done and I'm already seen in a high regard. Now, after the announcement of Jack Diamond, Harrogate Town ironically played Mansfield again, but this time away from home. And we beat him the exact same scoreline, 3-1, with Jack Diamond being a big influence in that game. Now, after our three win away at Mansfield, we didn't pick up another win in September with us drawing three games and us also losing 2 0 to Port Vale. Now, into October we go, and this is a very, very high scoring month for Harrogate Town, with us scoring 10 goals in our first three games. Town were brought back down to reality though in our final four games of the month, losing three of them and drawing one. Into November now, and Harrogate Town had two cut games straight away at the start of the month, with one of them being in the FA Cup first round and the other one being in the Papa John's Trophy. As Diamond's going to have a dig, goes short to Power! Power by name and power by nature with that strike. What a hit from the sub. Coming straight back at Wrexham. Arrogant felt there was a foul in there. Play goes on. Oh, that's a poor back pass. And it could be trouble here. Danilo Orsi's there. Two goals in five minutes for Harrogate. Has turned the cut tie around. Harrogate Town went on to beat Wrexham 2-1 in the FA Cup, which saw us get to Pompey in the second round. 
However, we did lose 4-0 to Sheffield Wednesday in the Papa John's Trophy, but because we won our first two games, it meant that we were already already through and we would play Tramer away in the next round. Following our 4-0 loss to Sheffield Wednesday, Harrogate Town went to away to Walsall and won 3-1. After Walsall, Salford was next where we lost 2-0 but then bounced back straight away with a 2-0 win away at Carlisle. Harrogate Town then ended the month with a 1-1 draw to Swindon Town. Ball across! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, we've got it! Now, moving into December and moving on to one of the greatest games I think I'm ever going to see live as a Harrogate Town fan. It was the Epic Cup second round. It was Portsmouth away. I'll just, yeah, just, I'll show you the highlights. Like, you, you already know what's happened. Looking to play their way out from the back, but they have possession pinched off them. Here's Luke Armstrong, who has a sight of goal, and Harrogate of League Two take the lead. As for Lewis Page to run into, we are deep into stoppage time here. The ball oh, across! Back. Jack Diamond yeah! is there! Yeah! Yeah! Oh and he God, has surely sent yeah! Harrogate through to the yeah! third round of the FA We're Cup brilliant! for the very brilliant! first brilliant! time in their history. Come on, the boys! Yes! Come on! Nice! Get in there! Come here, you! Love it! Love it you, love it you, love it. We're the famous arrogant town and we're off to Wembley. Wembley! After me losing my voice in Harrogate Town progressing into the third round where we'll play Luton away from home, we then went on to lose three games on the bounce, but then but then bounced back to end the year with a 2-1 win in the A Papa John's trophy against Tramway Rovers. And that is a 2021 review over and done with. There was meant to be more games before the end of the year, but obviously because of COVID and all the outbreaks at the moment, they've been called off. So our next game won't be until the new year. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys for the new year against Port Vale, fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, have a good new year, guys. Stay safe and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.